Hello everyone! So for this video, we're going to learn about another branch of mathematics. This is cryptology. Ciphers, codes, and other encryption methods have been used throughout history by most civilization in some form or other to prevent non-authorized people from understanding messages. They have increased in sophistication considerably throughout history and are commonly in use today. Let's have an example. Can you decipher this? This ciphertext here? This ciphertext is being encoded using one kind or one type of cipher codes. We call it the Masonic or Pigpen cipher. Maybe you're familiar with this. So, uh, in the Masonic cipher, we're going to use these figures. So, how to understand these figures or ciphers? For letter A, that will be in this form. Letter B, C, and as you can see here, that's C, and then this is for D. E will be a square. Okay, as you can see it here in the alphabet here from A to Z. So that's how to read this cipher text. So can you decipher this cipher text here? Okay, so I'll give you maybe a minute okay, to do it. Okay, so the plain text here is roll done. I have found you. Okay, did you get it right? Okay, cryptology related to codes and books and grocery items are secret codes. These codes are used to send messages between people, companies, or nations. It is hoped that by devising a code that is difficult to break, the sender can prevent the communication from being read if it's intercepted by an unauthorized person. Cryptology is the study of making and breaking secret codes. Like for example, there's a basic term, plain text. So plain text is a message before it is coded like for example you want to send i love you so you can actually encode encipher or encrypt this plain text i love you as to l o r y h b r x we call this the cipher text this is the message after it has been written in codes or ciphers using a particular kind of cipher Cryptology, it is a method of changing from, from plain text to ciphertext, and that process is actually called encryption. And decryption is actually to decrypt means a message uh, means to take the ciphertext message and write it in plain text. So encryption is the process of encoding okay the plain text and decryption is the process of deciphering or decoding okay the cipher text so that it will become a plain text and which will be can be read by the recipient or the receiver one kind of uh, method of enciphering is cyclical encrypting using the alphabet okay which is actually related to our previous uh, videos or topic like modular arithmetic. Let's say for example here, the numerical equivalence for the letters of the alphabet from A to Z. Okay, so that's actually 1 to 26, but we use here modulo 26. That's why Z corresponds to 0 because it's the 26th letter and if you get the module of that that gives you zero modulo 26 it gives you zero one of the famous cipher is that of julius caesar and we call it the caesar cipher so it's named after the roman emperor julius caesar 
Okay, it is a simple form of a substitution cipher where you can replace its letter of the alphabet with another letter by shifting the whole alphabet a certain number of letters. Uh, and I think it's actually three. Three is the number of movements or shifts. Okay, it's three. So if the encrypting code is to shift its letter of the plain text message M positions, like for example in the uh, in the Caesar cipher, uh, they use three shifts or three positions. Then the corresponding letter in the cipher text message is given by C is equal to P plus M modulo 26, where P is the numerical equivalent of the plain text letter like example the 1 to 25 and then 0 for z 1 for a 2 for b that's the p and c is the numerical equivalent of the cipher text message okay so meaning this uh, equation here or uh, congruence modulo is actually what we call the encryption key encryptions encryption key it's actually the the way of uh, it's actually the formula for encoding the plain text to make it a cipher text. So since or once the plain text has, has been converted to cipher text, there must be a method also or a formula by which the person receiving the message can can return the message to plain text. Okay, so there's what we call the the decryption key. Okay, so for the cy cyclical code, the congruence will be P is congruent to C plus N modulo 26. So this will be the formula for the decryption key. Where P and C are defined as before, so this is just the same. The definition of P is it's the equivalent, uh, numerical equivalent of the plain text. And C is the numerical uh equivalent of the cipher text and then you use the equation n is equal to 26 minus m to get the value of n here you use this equation n is equal to 26 minus m okay let's have an example on how to encode a message for example use the congruent c is congruent to p plus 3 modulo 26 to encode the message love so you want to actually encode just a simple message love so the first thing to do is to get the equivalent number of the letters l o v e okay in the plain text so you use this uh, equivalent of its letter into numbers so you have l is actually 12 O is actually 15, V is 22, and E is 5. So that's the letter P. So if we were going to encode this using this congruence modulo here, we just add uh, 3 to the value of P here, and then you get modulo 26. So let's, let's just substitute the P to this formula here. So 12 plus 3 mod 26, that will be you add here that you add these two that gives you 15 modulo 26 it's 15 isn't it we learned that in our previous uh, video on modular arithmetic so we have here 15 as p plus 3 that's constant here modulo 26 it, it gives you 18 22 plus 3 is 25 modulo 26 it's 25 and 5 plus 3 is 8 modulo 26 is 8 so those will be the values of c and then you will now get the corresponding letter for these numbers so you use again this one number 15 is o number 18 is r and number 25 is y and number 8 is actually h so this is the one this is what we call the cipher text Okay, for in uh, this will be actually received by the receiver and uh, he can only decrypt this if the receiver knows and how to decrypt it and knows what will be the formula in the in decoding this o r y h okay
So that's how to encode our, uh, a plain text to a cipher text using a certain congruence or an encryption formula. Okay, you need to try this one. Okay, use the congruence C is equal to P plus 15 modulo 26 to encode the message dear. So kindly try this uh, example here. Okay, now may we also discuss on how to decode. So we have actually at the same uh, example a while ago, okay? So this one is just the reverse, okay, of the process. Decoding the message O-R-Y-H, which was, we know, a while ago in our example, which is actually in encrypted using the modulo or congruence modulo. C is congruent to P plus 3 modulo 26. So first step is to actually get the equivalent number for these letters. So O is actually 15, R is actually 18, K, Y is actually 25, and H is actually 8. So for example, this is uh, the one you receive you know, as a receiver and you want to decode it so that you know what's the real message of the sender. Okay, so that's it. That's the first step. You get the numerical value of these letters. And then you should know the decryption key. That is, you need to solve for P. A while ago, uh, in encoding, we use C to encode it. Then now, we're going to convert the C into P. So we need to solve for P. And how to get the formula? Okay, uh, we, I actually discussed that a while ago in the previous slides and how to get for the formula. Okay, so you can see here that P is equal to C plus 23 mod 26. Okay, so you need to think, to solve for P here, you need to think of what is to be added on both sides of this congruence modulo so that this uh, 3 here will become 0. So what should be added to 3 so that if you get the modulo 26, it gives you 0? It's 23, isn't it? Because 3 plus 23 is 26, modulo 26, it gives you 0. And there's a property in congruence modulo. Whatever you add on left side or right side of the equation, you should also write it on the right. Uh, you add it also on the other side. So if you add 23 here, we need to add 23 here also. That's why we get P is equal to C plus 23, okay, modulo 26. Or we can actually have, a while ago, we add 3 here, okay, the other one, you need to subtract 3 because that's the inverse of, of adding, it's subtracting. So that's the same, okay? So the, you can use any of these two, uh, congruence modulo here but in my in this example i use the first formula okay so substituting the value of c here in the formula so you have 15 plus 23 modulo 26 is 13 why because if you add this this is 38 okay so 38 modulo 26 it's actually 12 so sorry, this should be 12 because that's 38 minus 26 is actually 12. So this should be uh, 12. And then we have 18 plus 23. That's actually 41 modulo 26. Okay, it's 15. That's the remainder, isn't it? If you divide 41 by 26, 25 plus 23 is 48. Modulo 26, the remainder is 22. 8 plus 23, modulo 26, that's actually 31, modulo 26, the remainder is 5. Those, are the, those numbers are the values of P. And then you need to get the corresponding equivalent letter of these numbers. So 12 is actually L, 15 is O, 22 is V, and 5 is E. Okay, that's it. You already cracked the code. So the meaning of this uh, 
letters here, zero, uh, I'm sorry, O, R, Y, H is actually loud. So you already uh, decrypted or decoded the message and the sender actually sent you a message, love. Okay, so that's how to uh, decode the message. We have here another example. Okay, so you try it yourself. Okay, uh, so the formula here is already given, so you will just uh, do the same process. Okay, so that's how to decode a message. At present, okay, uh, the cryptology processes are actually uh, become sophisticated. In banking and in communication, there's the famous RSA code. RSA code is the basis of all important data transfer. Encrypted data that needs to be sent between two parties, such as banking data or secure communications, relies on the techniques of RSA. RSA code was invented in 1978 by three mathematicians, Rives, Shamir, and Adelman. Cryptography re relies on numerous mathematical techniques from number theory, just like, for example, our topic modular arithmetic or congruence modulo, which until the 1950s was thought to be a largely theoretical pursuit with few practical applications. But at present, we actually recognize the real-life applications of this mathematical concepts. Today, RSA code is absolutely essential to keeping digital communication safe. So this is how RSA encryption works and even other ciphers or encryption techniques. There is the sender, he will send the plain text data and he used actually an, an encryption key to encode it to become a cipher text. The cipher text is to be decoded by the receiver or recipient using a decryption key so that that cipher text will become a plain text and he can actually read or read the message. These are examples of, or these are, yeah, some movies, okay, wherein they actually feature, okay, uh, the concepts or ideas of cryptology or codes and ciphers. The National Treasure, The Imitation Game, okay, this is actually the story of a famous mathematician, okay, uh, and programmer, Alan Turing. Okay, the imitation game, which is actually features also the World War II, and the famous novel, which is actually they make a movie out of it, okay, Da Vinci Code. You may actually wa uh, watch this again, okay, these movies, and uh, learn how uh, the topic uh, cryptology codes uh, was used in these uh, movies. And that's all, my dear students. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned fr uh, from this uh, video. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.